While cameras are being used to monitor progress on the job site, these multi-purpose devices are serving an even greater role today. With trucks and cranes trying to maneuver through confined spaces, it can be difficult for operators to see what they are doing. That's where cameras come in. On today's Safety Zone, we will look at how portable cameras are ensuring everyone stays safe, from heavy equipment operators to those around them. Please welcome Chris Makut, Chief Technology Officer from Nateris. Chris, why are cameras at the job site becoming so invaluable these days? Well, we've gotten a lot of inquiries in the past regarding cameras on construction sites, primarily because of the nature of the buildings and structures that a lot of the heavy equipment is beginning to work with. Uh, they are tending to be more complex, um, larger in size, and uh, general contractors and site supervisors are finding the need to increase safety for their operations um, to allow uh, their job site to see more of what's going on um, and what is actually transpiring on the site. So that leads to a great question. How does the camera on that crane then that you just you were kind of alluding to make it safer when you're you're working in the total job site itself? Well, if you can kind of imagine, uh, you're, uh, if you've never been a crane operator, um, if you can imagine moving something uh, from behind another building or um, positioning a load um, that's very far away from you that you can't see, that you're relying on someone else's eyes to be able to direct you where to go, how you need to get there, and, um, and, and just that radio communication, uh, it provides a good means for maneuvering the load, but not sufficient enough uh, to get the load there in a timely manner and in a safe manner. Uh, because you're technically, as the operator, you're relying on the eyes of somebody else uh, to position and um, um, orient that load to where it needs to go on the site. Let's talk about an example. Can you give me an example of kind of like the data analytics or the time saving, the, the safety? I know it's a lot all in one question, but can you give me something that we, you know, for, for our viewers to understand? Sure, sure. So um, um, we've actually found um, that just using a camera system on a crane, especially in the um, aspect of working with blind picks, can increase productivity um, of that crane um, and ultimately the job site anywhere from uh, 20 to 40 percent. It really depends on what the crane is uh, picking, where they're picking it from, and where they're maneuvering it from. Uh, these cameras basically put the operator's eyes wherever he needs to put them so then he can actually see what's going on. Um, from there, there are cameras as well that can actually scan and analyze the job site from the crane's uh, point of view um, in terms of uh, doing object detection of identifying personnel on the site. Well, you made an interesting point. So in the future about kind of sensing, will these be able to sense a person in the future when we're looking out for safety purposes, these cameras? I, I would imagine so. So one of the things, uh, some of the feedback that we get from some general contractors is not necessarily um, like removing the operator from the crane um, or having a human being operating the crane, but actually getting the operator out of the crane. Um, so we've seen um, at least uh, some interest with regards to that in terms of high tech of actually um, getting the operator on the ground and actually having the operator rem remotely control the equipment. So where do you see cameras on the job site going in the future? What's your big vision, so to speak, of, of a camera in the future? A uh, camera in the future, I think, is going to be, and actually this is just cameras in general on the job site, are starting now to generate a lot of data. Um, and this is often referred to as big data. Um, this big data um, is not only a blessing, but it can also be a curse. Um, you can imagine if you have a, a camera system such as a hoist cam on a crane, or you have a drone flying over the job site, or using cell phones to take pictures, or you have the security cameras to show the stop motion animation of maybe the uh, building go up and down, or, or being constructed in, um, in a virtual fast forward. 
um, this can be a very, very big challenge for a lot of management to be able to digest and ingest all that data. Um, so what we're finding is, um, is the need to actually crunch this data faster, to uh, tie all this data and information together so that it's more accessible and so then management can make better, more informed decisions. Well, Chris, this has been great, and, and we hope that everyone here gets a better view of the job site and site and, and cameras of the future. So thank you for much. Uh, thanks so much for being with us with uh, that's you know our safety zone for today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.